Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today number 97, season 5, episode 10. The last episode we did finished with Ahsoka and the Jedi children she was training, saving Hondo from captivity by Dooku. It was really neat to see all them uh, together, see the lightsabers being built, see Hondo kind of uh, warm up uh, to the Jedi children, if you will. I mean, he went from trying to kill him to actually, uh, I hear, naming a ship after the one who uh, made him feel bad about not helping. So, really cool episode, really like to see the side characters kind of further developed, and it was really awesome. But, no idea what this one's about, just ready to jump into it. Let's roll it. Humility is the only defense against humiliation. Fears escalate mm. as the Separatists are about to mount a major offensive. Having located the source of the transmission, yeah, the deep Separatist, separatist attacks space, just keep getting more and more intense here. To capture an enemy decoding chip, which will allow them to understand the transmission and thwart the Separatist plot. Well, we got Pink R2 back side, again. <laughs> so I'll make this short. You droids have been chosen for a very important mission. This device is scrambling all Separatist communication in the region. And you're going to send a bunch of droids into their facility? Oh. Well, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's not a tall ask at all. <laughs> Pit droid. Black 47 reporting for duty. Sorry I am late. So, did I miss anything? Fall in line, soldier. The whole plan. <laughs> that's certainly not HK 47. Some of you may not make it back. What, why is he looking at me? <laughs> uh, you're just looking at me? Yeah. The uh, meat bag is looking at you. But I have faith in your abilities. <laughs> you are our secret weapons. Now, let me turn you over to your mission leader, Colonel Meeber Gascon. Gascon? Thank you, Master Windu. I'll take it from here. Attention! <laughs> <laughs> Once we're inside the cruiser, we make our way to Sea Deck. That's where their communication center is housed. Then we break the vault code, beat the swarm mine, steal the encryption module, and return home in time for my promotion ceremony to Brigadier General. Are we clear? <laughs> <laughs> uh. The line starts behind me, Mac. Man, this guy is really going to screw this mission up, isn't he? And why are we sending the pit droid anyway? These astromechs look like they've got uh, a better handle on things. Over here, you mechs. Front and center. <laughs> this is Dr. Gubacher. He uh, is... Uh, Corporal? Colonel. You called us all mechs back there, but as you can see, I am a whack. Better engineering. <laughs> it seems so, as yeah. As I was saying. Before I was rudely interrupted, Dr. Gubacher is going to equip each of you with a tactical upgrade specially designed for this mission. Well, I think uh, right, Agent 47 there Let's needs a on the needs an upgrade for sure. Cyclops, you're not needed here. Go prepare our shuttle for launch. Uh, to d These advanced rocket boosters should give you Oh, you got new boosters? Mobility. Cutie Katie, this coil is a remote controlled magnet. What was that droid's name? It can Cutie? Attract any metal object <laughs> in a seven meter radius. U9C4. This laser cutter will slice. M5BZ, we are not putting anything inside you. We're taking something out. Your memory banks. What do you want, BZ? It's me, you moron. <laughs> what are you doing in there, Corporal? That's the command center Every that was installed. To tell you, it's Colonel. <laughs> now do your job and pilot this ship. Just <laughs> pilot. We're just flying straight up to this thing, huh? I want you to alert me when we near the dreadnought. I have a plan on how to attract their attention. Relax. I already took care of it. What did you do? What do you mean? What did you do? I put us on a collision course with the Dreadnought. Oh, or you're just gonna run straight into it. See, Corporal, I'm not just a pilot. You idiot, we're caught in a tractor beam! 
Yeah, certainly got a lot of attention that way. Let's check the cockpit. <sighs> Nothing to see here, no just a bunch of, of droids. Just these droids. He's Everyone pretty proud. He's at the head of the line again. <laughs> Uh, R2 doesn't want to follow the plan, apparently. And I am their leader. Yeah, I got him. All right, listen up. The next phase of my plan is to reach C deck. Cyclops, you lead the way. If anyone asks, you're taking the droids on a repair job. Got it? Yes, sir. Uh, got it. It's Colonel. I swear, Cyclops, you are going to drive me crazy. <laughs> I think he's already doing it. <laughs> oh, do not forget to lock out. <laughs> Someone still has to distract some super battle. Oh, please. All right. You will not regret this, Corporal. I, I think we will. <laughs> Colonel. I have been ordered by General Grievous to test Commvault security, and I need your help. Now, follow me. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I need you two to stay here. It was pretty good, yeah. You need to keep moving. Peace. Open the combo security door. Uh, make sure it is not booby trapped. Yeah, start listening to the pit droid, I guess. He seems to be the only one with sense now. Manual override. What do we do now, Corporal? Look, we can still salvage this. <laughs> he didn't correct if you on the you corporal just, thing that time. You need to re-access that panel, and we have to open that comm vault door fast and grab the encryption module before we're caught red-handed. I'm a, a military analyst by trade, and you... You are a map reader? Uh-oh. R2, take over. I am an accomplished battlefield strategist. In other words... You read maps. <laughs> You're off base here, Cyclops. I was chosen Corporal. for my fearsome cunning. <laughs> Although my size may have played a small factor. I have waited a lifetime for this opportunity. And some ragtag collection of droids is not going to deny me my destiny. So one way or another, I will open that combo door. By pointing at it. Oh, there just like I planned it. <laughs> okay, get going. We're going to infiltrate this vault, neutralize the swarm mines, and then secure the encryption mine. You will execute your plan, but you have to stop calling us stupid names, shorty. Very well, whack. <laughs> I'll play nice, but only until one of you screws up again. This is like Krell's little brother here. <laughs> Little brother. Well, those are the swarm mines. Let's right, see what this magnet I does, cutie. cutie. This is your chance <laughs> cutie. to shine. Use what a your weird name. To attract those swarm mines. <laughs> Maybe that's going to be a lot of explosives. Okay. I guess I didn't understand putting the bombs in the head, but... The all right, module. get your jet boosters working there, R2. It's all up to you now, R2. Not so fast. Oh! Gravity. <laughs> right, turn it off, quick! Well, yeah, one of you got jets. That's awesome. Oh, <laughs> don't turn that off before you kill somebody. Ooh, okay. Good one, cutie.
Did he get it? He got it. it will turn the gravity back on. Um, is that a good idea? Um, let him go. <laughs> good call, R2. I'll take that. Oh, you're done. Let's move it out, D Squad. You better hurry. I don't see how you're getting back to your ship, though. What are you doing? We're going to get caught. No man's R2 left behind. We cannot leave BZ behind. R two's right. We can repair him on the shuttle. And I'm assuming that the droids are still a good, yeah, uh, still a good cover. So is the 47 East thing like an intentional Let's reference here? I mean, I obviously looks nothing like HK-47 from uh, Knights of the Old Republic, but just curious what the 47 on him means. He's also, I think, if I recall, got similar color patterning. Hmm, well, mission successful. Let's see if this uh, disc you guys got My was worth first it. first mission, a rousing success. You droids might just make decent soldiers after all. You too, Whack. Yes, sir, <laughs> Colonel. Uh, respect gets respect, Colonel. He actually called you Colonel. <laughs> well, that was number 97 and a really good episode. I, I really do enjoy the ones that have R2-D2 in them, especially when he's teamed up with other droids. Like when he had the uh, battle droids he was in command of. Thought that was really neat. Too bad he didn't uh, keep that entourage with him for a while. But now he's teamed up with a bunch of astromechs and one ba uh, pit droid. And then, of course, uh, Corporal Colonel Gascon, whatever his name is. He seems like Krell's like, small little brother. Like, really small little brother. But I don't know if they actually were successful in this mission. Yeah, they got the disc that they were after. They did lose one droid. I'm hoping they can rebuild. But... Was the information they were seeking actually on this disc? I don't know. I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Please give a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.